yo, what, what up? Yeah. See, I thought I would, like, start off my videos like that from now on because it just makes me seem so much cooler than being like, hey. Actually, it doesn't. Um, I'm going to continue with, with the video now. Okay, so if you know me, you know that I, like, obsess over things a lot, which is somewhat creepy, but I do it anyway, like I always have. So I decided to make this video of things that I've obsessed over in the past years or so. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the least embarrassing one, which, you know, you might disagree, but um, I, I think I think it is. So my first obsession, well, not my first, but you know what I mean, was Pirates of the Caribbean. I have, like, all the movies, but um, I kind of just like the first one the most, because that's why I obsessed over it. Like, I didn't really care for these. Bleh. But the first one was, like, amazing. It was an obsession because I watched the first one so many times that, like, if I, like, talked to you, like, I could, like, go through the entire movie, like, tell you every single line. I can't do that anymore because I, like, forgot most of it. But, like, it was really creepy that I memorized every single line in the entire movie. I mean, just think, like, how many times I would have had to watch it to do that. And I had, like, a little calendar, which... You know, that wasn't too big of a deal. My second obsession, which is very, very different from the first one, would be Little House on the Prairie. So I had the book set, of course, because, you know, it was an obsession. And um, I've read every single one of them. I think I've read, like, two or three of them twice. And I just realized, like, this one right here is upside down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fix that. And also, every morning I would like get up and like watch the TV show. So I think I've seen every single one of them, I think. I'm not positive, but I think I have. Oh, and I even have one of these like little bonnet thingies um, that I made my grandma buy for me one day because I saw it. And um, yeah, so that's, that's when I decided that it was an obsession and um, you know, I think I think I'm gonna wear this like the rest of the video. It's it's, it's quite attractive, um, if if I do say so myself. Okay, and the last obsession I am extremely extremely ashamed of, and I'm probably going to get killed, and like twenty people are gonna unsubscribe just because of this. But um. I was I was obsessed with the Jonas Brothers. This lasted about a year, which is kind of long for one of my obsessions. But, um, so it started out, I went to a Jonas Brothers concert with my little cousin because she wanted to go see it. And I got this, and I listened to it, and I was, like, in love with them, which is, is horrible enough. And then, I don't know, I, at one point, I think I had about maybe eh, 22 posters of them in my room. I had like hundreds of like magazines and like books like this. And like these are the only other CDs I have. I think they have like another one out and I don't really care about that because I don't really listen to them or anything anymore. And I'm really ashamed of this so um, don't, don't make fun of me, please. I love you. Hearts, maybe. So, yeah, my, my obsessions. I was a normal child, definitely. Oh, and by the way, there is gonna be a person over there that um, I'm gonna put a link to, and I want you to subscribe to him. And um, he has like seven subscribers right now. And so there's like 200 of you or so, so I mean, w would it be too much to ask to maybe get him to, I don't know, 20 subscribers? That would be cool. So, um, you should go do that. And, um, I I'll probably, you know, make another video, you know, at, at some point during, during my lifetime. So, um... So, so bye.
you totally can't, you can't take me serious in that. You just, like, you can't take a person serious in one of those things.